okay so here we have to use the this folder so right now we are tailing to our sling like here we just simply need Bro, to screen, screen. Screen. screen is not visible okay now it's visible guys yes. okay so uh, the thing is here we have a jss js folder so what i have done here all these files i have added inside the js folder and uh, after that you can just uh, simply uh, that means what we have done we have tell uh, we have telling to our sling like all this file this multiplication sample and sub it has present inside this js so you just no need to be write this js and slash okay we have already common it that js so you can just simply uh, go inside this multiplication sample and sub dot js and execute the code okay so this is the thing yeah here yeah so uh, in this way our client library works so first of all your sling will go inside the js.txt it will see this the js source code and it will take some additional functionality so that i tell you later uh, after 10 minutes so we'll see this and the same thing for the css.txt as well okay so here i have created and you can just simply go and just try to call it copy this one go inside this local as 450 and paste it and try to hit enter okay not like this now just try to hit js okay so now we got the uh, result so why we are trying to create the, okay why they have introduced the concepts of the client library okay so consider now by using this like here we have the html this is the head we have and inside this head we can easily call the css and the javascript but still why they have introduced the concept of the client library okay consider now this one is our file that is test.css okay now consider you want to add the 10 css file so for that you have to write this uh, you have to write this 10 times this is the thing you have to write 10 times and you have to change this test.css css okay like you have a 10 files no so you have to write this link tag 10 times and consider you have a 10 files like uh, 10 javascript files you have so you have to change 10 times okay you have to write this tag 10 times so this is very difficult for writing it it's only for the one user uh, when user try to achieve this page like consider this 20 files you are trying to you are trying to achieve okay you are trying to get these files like consider these 20 files uh, like here we have a home.html okay and inside this home.html you are uh, you are inserting these files okay so this is a 20 files so now uh, when you are trying to hit the request uh, like you are trying to achieving this home.html so you have to send the request 20 times for this css and for this js okay it's only for the one user if consider a uh, thousand you are sending the request so it will very hectic so for that they have introduced the concept of client library okay so a uh, client library will send the request only once and your all the file will loads now i'll show you the example here you see here what i have done i have only called the co client library here I have called only this client library and all these files are loading see here this is the this is the multiplication here we have a sample.js and here this one is the subtraction so I have sent the request only once and all these files has loaded okay so this is the thing that's why we have introduced the concepts of client library later second one we have uh, this one is the number of requests we have to send it and second one is the dependency management okay in this traditional way we have to we have to take care manually for this dependency management like consider okay uh, like here you have a two files okay. now consider you have a two file uh, that is uh, a.js 
and b.js okay and inside this b.js you have written some code okay and this code you are using inside this a.js that means what we can say this a is dependent on the b.js like here we have a code and this is the code you are returning inside this a.js that means your a.js is depending on the b.js so this is called as a dependency management okay so if like this is the this is consider here we have a test1.js and consider here this is the test2.js okay so if uh, this test1 is using the content or the code of this test2.js so we have to load this test2.js before this test1 okay so we have to take care of these things manually but in our client library they have provided the property we have to use simply the property and by using the property we can easily achieve the dependency management so that i'll show you so just uh, here you see we have to come here and we have to simply i have created the one client library this is the client library i have created now i'm just creating a different client library like the same way come here inside this client library create and create the client library cq uh, client library folder yeah nice and you can just say here laptop okay hit enter okay and again one thing is important whenever you are creating the client library we have to we have to give the name so how we can identify this client library so for that we have to give the name so how we can give it by using the categories by using the categories we can easily give the name of our client library and this category must be in multi maybe it has a more than one name so for that we have to be uh, right like that so for that i'm just giving the desktop to this desktop okay and for this laptop i'm just giving the laptop okay just save the changes yeah i have saved it now here the same thing we have to follow we have to create the folders like css and the jss okay css folder that i have created you can name it anything okay for this is only the folder you can name it anything whatever you want okay but the thing is here whenever we are creating the files this file must be a js.txt and css.txt okay so here we have written it now inside the js now i'll just want to add some jquery so there is one library that is present inside our js so js okay so here i have came Okay, so we'll try to get the CDN. Okay, this is the CDN. It has present inside this. You can just simply try to copy it. Come here and try to paste it and hit enter. by the way we don't need to download it like we need a cdn only so it's may be present somewhere yeah here it has so we just have to copy this one come here and simply paste it hit enter we will get the code we have to copy this code simply which one that is jquery min.js so first of all we have to copy this come inside your crxd and here we have to create a file that is this one jquery min.js we have created after that this is the code we have to add inside this file okay so i have added this code as well okay we have added this code 
now we have to write the entry inside this otherwise it won't execute okay so here uh, i have uses so we have to use the base is equals to js and later that j query j query min dot js so for the for the cross check you just just do one thing copy this one come here and here we have to write local as 4502 remove this and just type js so now this code has rendering that means our uh, uh, client library is working fine so you can just simply now yeah so now we will see how now consider now this jquery i am just using inside my desktop.js inside this i am using this jquery okay so right now i am just creating some other files jquery example.js here this is the thing that i have user uses you can use dollar parenthesis open curly braces close and open it close this one and close inside this okay so this is uh, this is just only for the demo okay uh, here just forget about this code uh, consider like this one is the laptop okay so inside this laptop we have one predefined jquery okay we have one javascript library and this library we are using inside this desktop okay inside this desktop client library we are using this uh, jquery client library so this laptop client library we have to load before this desktop otherwise it will throw some exception why because we have uses this jquery inside this inside our desktop so we have to load this laptop before this desktop okay so how we can do that thing so you can just simply go inside the desktop and here we have to write one property that is dependencies okay dependencies we have to write it and dependencies must be in multi and which file you have to load before this desktop so we have to load this laptop client library okay so you can just simply add it okay and done now this is the thing how we can see so for that we will do one thing uh, we'll load this desktop client library in our page so just come here okay so this one is our demo project here you just simply come and here we have to load the client library first i'm opening it Just taking a lot of time, man. Yeah, so it has opened it. Now we'll just simply do one thing. Uh, we have to load the client library with this page okay so we have to add the client library inside this so i'm just going inside my editable templates it will take a lot of time i think yeah so we have come here and here we have a page policy inside this editable template you can just simply go there inside the page policy and at the right hand side here we have options of the client library will render So here you see at the right hand side here we have options of the client library and which client library we want to insert it that is desktop here and uh, what is the name of this desktop that is desktop only so you can just simply copy this one once you have copy here we have to come and we have to load here just save it 
okay so i have saved Yeah, it is saving till now we'll try to see it so here uh, i'm just opening this page as a view as a publish here we have options of the view as publish uh, it hasn't saved till now but we'll open as a view as a publish we'll see okay it has saved i think now just open the page once the same page edit okay so now uh, just open view as a publish yeah now just right click and just view page source now here we will see uh, our client library has loaded or not so for that we have to search that is desktop no so you can just simply search the desktop see here our desktop uh, has loaded inside this that is desktop.min.js so just try to go inside this and check the code okay so this is css okay and inside the css we haven't written anything so we have to check for the dex, uh, js file no so just try to see the js okay that is js now you can just open it if I try to open here you see whatever we have added this code is coming here yeah this is the thing and what we have done see uh, this is this one is our desktop and this laptop uh, sorry this desktop is dependent on this laptop uh, client library so we have uses this dependency property and we have loaded this laptop before this desktop so it is showing or not we have to see this one so just uh, go there and here you see before this desktop by using this dependency property we have loaded this laptop okay before this desktop so just try to open this one and here you see it is showing all the code that we have copied from the internet this code has showing here okay so this is the thing and at the last we have one property that is embed okay uh, one property is there that is embed okay you can just simply use this one as a multi and here we have to use the laptop but i'm just deleting the dependency so dependency and embed both are the same here you see like when i have uses the depend uh, dependency so it has loaded before our current client library but when we have using the embed so it will include this client library that is laptop it has include inside the desktop okay so we'll try so here we have to use the embed and uh, the same thing you can just simply add it and just save the changes okay so now you can just go there now i'll show you you can just simply copy this come here type localhost 4502 paste it and here we have to write the js now you can see what i have called i have called the desktop but it is showing the code of it is showing the code of uh, this laptop like this is all our jquery and at the last we can see our desktop code see this one is our desktop code so we have added the uh, this laptop dependency that means laptop client library inside our desktop client library this is the thing and at the last here we have another another property that is allow proxy what does it mean by the allow proxy okay so we'll see like consider uh, here when we first send the request like this is www okay so we are trying to send the request by using this google so first of all where this request will go so it will go inside your dispatcher here we have a one concepts of the dispatcher 
dispatcher is also a server so your first request will go inside this dispatcher and later that this request will go to this server okay server is nothing but our 4502 that we are working on okay so by default whenever this request will send through this apps folder so this dispatcher will block this request so it will not go inside this server okay so for that we have to exchange this in uh, exchange this path from apps to etc so that's why we will use this allow proxy okay so here we have one property that is allow proxy and this allow proxy we use for uh, for the security purpose why because inside these apps we have our projects we know that and inside this project we have created the components client library and everything we have created inside this app so if somebody is directly going inside this app so this is not a good thing no so for that we have to change from apps to etc and inside this etc we have only the tools third third party tools so anyone can use that third party tool so that's why uh, it has changing from app to etc so now just try to go there and just try to use the allow proxy that allow proxy data type that is boolean so we have to select the boolean and here you can just simply write true just remove this and just write true uh, where we have applied into a desktop okay so just go there inside the desktop uh, right now here you see uh, like uh, where it has loading all the things in apps see this one slash app slash app now when we refresh so this desktop apps will change to etc let's try to refresh it see here it has changed from desktop to etc this is the thing